author of um, BRS Physiology, which is um, a book that uh, many of us use um, a tool for review during their coursework in physiology in medical school or graduate school or dental school. Students also use it as a review for comprehensive exams. There are practice questions uh, at the end of chapters with explained answers uh, to help the student assess their knowledge and understanding. The, lo- the book has lots of figures um, that are visuals to accompany the teaching materials and tables that summarize and review for the student. Um, I thought I would select one figure that um, teaches about the handling of potassium. And um, this is in the kidney, uh, how the kidney um, takes care of our body store potassium by regulating the amount of potassium that we excrete. And in the figure, you see a picture of the nephron and um, there are colored arrows and the colored arrows uh, show you where potassium is reabsorbed in the nephron. Uh, and where potassium is secreted to the nephron. So if you follow the story of potassium along the nephron, you see that the proximal tubule reabsorbs 67% of the potassium that's filtered. And uh, that potassium reabsorption goes along with the reabsorption of sodium and water in the proximal tubule. In the thick ascending limb, you see that potassium is reabsorbed again. Um, more potassium reabsorbed. And the mechanism for that reabsorption in the ascending limb is the sodium two chloride potassium co-transporter that you may have heard about. Um, In the late distal tubule and collecting, we secrete potassium. And by secretion, we mean that potassium is added from the blood into the lumen of the nephron or the urine. And as you see on the figure, that potassium secretion is variable, meaning the amount changes depending on conditions. And the figure shows that the major conditions that can affect that potassium secretion are dietary potassium, in other words, how much potassium you eat, aldosterone, the hormone, um, acid-base balance, and flow rate, which means urinary flow rate. Um, And so that potassium secretion is the main regulation of potassium balance in the kidney. Um, And the final excretion of potassium, you see where it says excretion, can vary from 1% to 110% of the filtered load. Um, It's a huge range for potassium excretion. And the reason that range is that the amount of potassium secreted is so variable depending on conditions. So potassium, Uh, in the kidney is extremely important. One way of thinking about the job of the kidney with potassium is that the kidney is um, under normal conditions trying to excrete exactly the amount of potassium that you eat in the diet uh, in order to keep us in potassium balance. Uh, And those are just a few comments about uh, the renal handling of potassium to illustrate how the figures in the book might help you with your understanding and learning of physiology. Mm -hmm.